Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the formula of surface area for a rectangle. In our previous videos we had discussed the two types of the surface areas. The one was where it was a square base and the second one was where it was a rectangular base. So when you are doing these questions you need to know the difference if it is a square base or if it is a rectangular base. Okay now when you look at the question, if you see that all the values are different, you can clearly see that this question is a rectangular base. This side and the following side on the right and the left, which are the bases of the rectangular prism, is a rectangular base. If you take the following one, Can you see this one has a square base? So look at your formulas and then know which formula to use. Now when we have a rectangular base, then we know we have the following formula. The surface area is going to equal to 2 times length times breadth of the first shape. So let us work with the front and the back. Now if you take that this side is 2, then remember the side opposite is also 2. So, it would be 2 into 5 times 2. Then we would have had plus, again, 2 length times breadth. Because it is not a square base, we know that it is not 4. Now, what are we going to work out? Now, we work the front and the back. Let's work the top and the bottom. If this is 3, then immediately we know this side is also 3. If this is 5, then the top is also 5. So, what is the area going to be? 3 times 5. And we know there is 2 of them. So, we're going to have plus 2, 3 times 5. Remember, it's the top and the bottom. Then we're doing the last one. It will be the one on the right and the one on the left. Now, what is the area of that specific shape? It will also be 2 times length times breadth. And if we look at the values, it is 2, 3 times 2. Now, from here, you can use your calculator. But it's easier to just do the values. We know 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. Plus, 5 times 3 is 15. Times 2 is 30. 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12. So our final total is 62. Now it's going to be centimeter squared. Why centimeter squared? We are working with area. We are multiplying two dimensions. Length times breadth. So let us do one that has a square base. Let us look at the following rectangular prism. What you notice is that the base, which means the side on the right and the left, is a square. Both are 2 centimeters. So when we are using a square base, then we know we're going to have 2 length times breadth plus 4 length times breadth. Now we had discussed this type of surface area in our previous videos. This was where we had discussed that the bases are squares. So if we take the base, it would be 2 into 2 times 2 then we've got plus 4 now if this is 2 then we know the top is 2 and we know that across is also 2 so what are the values we're looking for the 5 and the 2 so we have 4 into 5 times 2 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 so the total surface area is 48, but you're going to put centimeters squared. Remember, area is squared. Thank you for watching.